I'm Dr. Joe Hiblin, and I'm a psychiatrist and a nutritional neuroscientist. I worked for 28 years at the National Institutes of Health on the role of omega-3 fatty acids. The whole process of evolution and making a next generation is really dependent on adequate omega-3s. Even the act of getting pregnant is critically important on omega-3 fatty acids. The omega-3 fatty acids are concentrated in ovaries and concentrated in sperm, and that really tells you that there must be a critical role for them. So with more omega-3 fatty acids, there's better fertility, there's better success in conceiving, and better success in cell division and cell growth, and better success in implantation of the fertilized egg into the womb, and better success in growth and attachment of the egg in the womb, and fewer times that there's miscarriages, and fewer times that that pregnancy is not brought to success. And a lot of that has to do with stabilizing the immune reactions of the womb and stabilizing the blood supply and stabilizing the muscular reactivity. Eating enough omega-3 fatty acid clearly improves the success of the pregnancy by reducing preterm births. So they're very important there. So there's multiple negative effects for insufficient omega-3 fatty acids and insufficient fish consumption in a pregnant woman's diet. Every woman knows that they give of themselves, they give of their very substance in every molecule to create this new baby and they deplete themselves. I'm not just talking about depleting themselves emotionally and their energy levels. I mean that they are actually physically giving over the molecules of their brain and the molecules of their body to create this new life. Moms deplete themselves and deplete their very brain levels of omega-3 fatty acids to deliver it to create the baby's new brain and new development. So when moms create babies and they don't eat and replace their omega-3 fatty acids by eating fish or taking supplements, moms literally change the composition of their brains and change the composition of their consciousness because they're trying to grow a baby. The consequence for the moms in pregnancy can be devastating. I posited that this might be a cause of, of depression during pregnancy and in the postpartum. And we looked across countries and found that when women didn't eat fish in pregnancy, postpartum depression was 50 times higher. And when we gave omega-3 fatty acids to, to women in pregnancy, we effectively treated depression very well. So women don't need to deplete their own brains and their bodies for the sake of the developing baby. And most importantly, if women start out in their pregnancy in an omega-3 deficient state, then they don't give enough omega-3 fatty acids to the babies. And we think that this impairs IQ and it increases risk of mental health problems and behavioral problems for the kids. So it's vitally important that women eat fish like they did through millions of years of evolution to, to provide adequate nutrition uh, to their babies' brains and their babies' bodies without having to deplete themselves.